This is the DC Collectibles DC Essentials, figure number two, Deathstroke. The DC Essentials action figure line gets two new heroes and two new villains. Don't miss your chance to own your brand new Batman, Deathstroke, The Flash, and Reverse Flash action figures. This DC supervillain takes down his enemies with this 6.93 DC Essentials Deathstroke action figure that features an impressive 21 points of articulation. Clearly, I would be doing a disservice if I didn't tell you how tall Deathstroke is. So putting the tape measure right up to the top of his head. There we go. It, right there. The figure stands at 7.2 inches. If you want to look at that in centimeters, why not? Hey, I like centimeters like the next guy. Centimeter-wise, you're looking at 18.3. Who wants size comparisons? We've got size comparisons. There he is next to Flash. There he is next to Bat Superman. I was going to say Batman. Ah, oh, Superman, you frustrate me so. Still has such the toughest time to get him properly stand. It's these blasted ankles. There he is next to Flash. There he is next to Superman. Flash is now... There we go. Behave. Just behave. And there he is next to Batman. There's what we've done so far. Reverse Flash is somewhere. Don't worry, he's... Oh, oh, ah. Yeah, he just can't stand properly. Anyways, the problems with ankles aside, you can see that all the figures roughly are standing the same. Same height, same build roughly, same ongoing problems with ankles falling over, but that's what we've got so far. Yay, completion. Well, completion minus Reverse Flash, who I've got him boxed away somewhere. As the Reverse Flash continues to elude us, let's have a look at the accessories that come included with this Deathstroke figure. It comes with a really neat looking sword. Although I don't know what's going on with the end of this sword. It looks like there's paint, a little bit of removal of paint that's chipped right off. I don't think it's paint that's been added on top. What's going on here? This makes me sad on so many levels that I don't really think a plastic sword really should be giving me. And yet I'm sad. The other side is still pretty pristine, so I can probably display him like this, or or you can also take the figure and slide the sword into the back sheath as located on the back of his torso. Also to come include with the figure, please stand, please thank you. He also comes include with a pistol. Pistol is about the same sort of coloring of silver as the blade of the sword, although luckily nothing is chipping off here whatsoever. It's still pretty pristine. And you can either display it in his hand, or you can display it in the side holster on the side of his leg. Now, here's the problem where Lady Fate falls upon us. Just kind of bows down and says, now you have to make a decision. Figure, unfortunately, only has one gripping hand. So, if you thought for a second that you could display the figure with both the pistol and the sword, no dice. It ain't gonna happen, Jack. Unfortunately, you only have one open fist. The other one is completely closed shut. I beg the question. I throw that out to the universe. Why? Why did we only need to have one open hand for poor Deathstroke here? For somebody who's the assassin, the paid assassin that he is, why could he not simply have had open hands on both? I mean, they're not imposing. I mean, the closed, partially closed hand doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. Why then can you not simply have given us both open hands on either side of the body? It's just one of those mysteries that will remain a mystery until the end of time. Also omitted from this figure, sadly, is a display stand, but I know I sound like a broken record for saying that, so I'll try my best to not say that too frequently. But just in case you were, didn't want to believe me, let me take this out of his holster, and we can also fit this into his hand. The pistol is actually a little harder to get in because it doesn't have the same cylindrical handle as that of the sword, so you have to do a little bit more prying to get into his hand. Why well, don't we just put it back there and call it a day? 
I adore you so much, Deathstroke, and yet you still have the problems that all the other DC essential figures have, and that being really loose ankles. This one is not nearly the disastrous problem that I have with the Man of Steel, but still, it's to note, these ankles are probably one of the worst things that they could have done to this DC Essentials line. Everything else about the figure is good, spot on, and looks sexy. Did I just say sexy about a plastic figure? I think I might have, I think I might have just said sexy. He's got nice subtle colorings. This, for starters, the one of my favorite things about him is this color that they use for his gray. It's almost even like something like a grayish purple as opposed to just simply, it's like a purple based gray. Uh, of course, mixed that with that is the traditional Deathstroke orange, which makes up half his face. And the other half is this gray color. Even whatever colors or whatever areas that aren't painted still get the treatment of a nice sculpt. The sculpt actually is good on both sides. It just so happens that the side that has orange gets a little bit more going for it than the side that does not. But it still gets a nice, very sharp cheekbone and a very profound chin and nose. You can make out the ear that's on the side of his face as well. Taking some costume cues from Aquaman. He also gets the chainmail sort of orange treatment to just the shoulder area of his torso. And then it has one white sleeve. And of course the orange gloves on either side. The holster and actually we flip the figure around. He has also his trademark uh, little bandana ribbons if you will. These little ribbons that stick out from the back of his. I really don't know what you would call them. Would you call them a tassel? Like a la Ultimate Warrior, he's got these little Ultimate Warrior tassels sticking out from the back of his head. His sheath is attached to a the same similar material as that of the uh, these little tassels. Somebody's going to be screaming and typing violently on the keyboard. They're not called tassels. They're probably called aquettes or something. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Needless to say, though, the holstered section, the sheath, sits via a uh, the strapping here, which is of the same material. Part of me would have loved if this was just glued in place. I don't really need the luxury of having to do this all the time. This just doesn't seem necessary. It's taking up time I could be doing other things with. Just glue it in. Just call it a day. Plank, plank that in place and leave it be. He also has the same problem with the holster on the side of his leg, but I can understand why this has to be loose. Moving the leg freely from forward and to back and even out, you want the holster to be completely out of the way. Gluing it certainly would have limited it and kind of held the leg at bay. I know what you're immediately thinking. You're looking at this holster right here and you're thinking there's a, there's a little knife in there that can come out. <laughs> no, it can't. Not even close. It just looks like it can, but it actually can't. You pull it, it's not going anywhere. What may probably go somewhere is the holster when you rip it right off of the leg. So just leave it be. Uh, again, I love the coloring on it. It's subtle as subtle should be for the DC Essentials. In fact, the coloring on all the figures have been really good. And then, of course, their bodies is a bit of where the shortcomings start falling into place. Uh, not so much really all in here. The, everything here is well constructed. But I got to tell you, they really got to work on something different for their ankle joints. These ankle joints, essentially, let me just put this guy down here for a second. You can probably already see what I'm talking about. There we go. The ankle joints essentially are two cups. One cup has a pin. This one half would have a pin. The other cup would go like this. So it's essentially like this, and this would spin. And it's only pegged to itself. Well, excessive moving of the ankle. Look at this tutorial that we're doing right here. Excessive moving of this. There's nothing really preventing that joint from getting excessively loose. The problem comes with the DC Essentials figures is that you're getting that right off the bat. Literally just getting this guy out of packaging, I'm already facing loose ankles, and I really shouldn't be facing that. It's to the far, not to the same extent as Superman. Superman, I think, is the worst that I've seen so far. His ankles are excessively loose. One of the things I thought is a workaround, and then I realized quickly later it doesn't really necessarily work, 
is you could take the ankle and you can rotate the peg. So you see the pin now is on the side, there's on the front rather than on the side. You can then take the ankle and you can rotate it back. And it takes a couple of times just to get this just lined up. But you then have, basically then you have the ankle hinge this way rather than this way. It's not putting weight on the leg, but it also means that the leg isn't going to sit completely flat. It's going to kind of lean onto the side because it's not quite lined up. So quickly realizing that that wasn't a viable solution, what may I eventually end up doing is trying to pop the leg off or pop the feet off. See if I can spray. I think they, I've seen pledge or other things that you know you can use as replacements. Spray a little bit something in there and just kind of start working the joint a little bit so it doesn't stick to itself and, and stay shut. But just enough to kind of thicken it and stiffen the joint that the ankle's going to not get uh, you know excessively loose because it really shouldn't be this loose so quickly out of the out of the gate, if you will. Posability on this guy. His head rotates all the way around. You can probably see right there that it has a ball joint on the top, but then he's also got a hinge joint along the head, head to tilt forward and back. It doesn't work as effectively with Deathstroke as it has with some of the other characters that we've looked at. Um, the shoulders hinge out. Uh, you can also rotate the arms all the way around until the cows come home if you wanted to. Swivel at the bicep. Um, he does have a double hinge on the elbow, so it can actually look as if he's drawing his sword out from his sheath which is quite successful. Wrist swivel, hinging back and forth. He has an upper torso crunch, which is just a little stiffer on this figure. Waist swivel, his legs split out, forward and back on the legs. He's got a top three quarter of the way swivel cut on the thigh, double hinge on the knee. Swivel's actually right about calf height of the figure's leg. And then of course the forementioned, previous mentioned, hinge joint in the foot. It's unfortunate um, that it is what it is because the figures themselves are absolutely stunning. I can't think of a figure that I've disliked so far. All of them have really good sculpts, all of them have really good paints, and if anything their shortcomings aren't so much with any of those things I just, just mentioned. It has to do with the ankle pivot. If they could only simply fix that to even something like a ball joint would remedy the problem that I'm currently facing with a lot of these DC Essentials figures, and that is figures that want to topple over. And they shouldn't topple over immediately getting them out of packaging. I like DC Essentials Deathstroke. In fact, I liked all the DC Essentials figures that we've looked at so far. The paints and sculpts have been some of the best that I've seen coming from the company. In fact, the only problem I have with it, and it seems consistently across the board, is really loose joints, and the ankles specifically. None of the rest of the joints in the figure have any problems whatsoever. It's just those ankles that continue to be a bit of a problem. And figures like I have with my Flash and my Superman, I have to literally prop them against stuff so that they don't fall over and fall off my shelf. It shouldn't really be the case. And I hope that moving forward, DC Collectibles can do something different with the joints that they're using in the ankles. This swivel cap joint simply just doesn't work to support the weight of the figure. Instead, I think they should favor something more like a ball joint, where I would think you could still get the full flexibility of, a, of an ankle joint, but you would have much more stability to it than what we're currently getting here. And of all the things and of all the figure lines that I've reviewed on this channel, one consistent joke that I always make is when a figure has peg holes on the undersides of their feet. Normally I say a figure doesn't have a display stand or really doesn't need one, even though it has peg holes on the undersides of their feet. This figure line is completely the opposite. I feel like they badly need not only pegs on the undersides, but they also need display stands just to ensure that the figures aren't going to topple over when obviously that's not what you had intended when you put them on display. If you've managed to pick up any of the DC Essentials figures, let me know down below what you think of the lineup so far. Are you having the same problems that I'm having with loose ankles? Let me know down below in the comments section. In the meantime, today we were having a look at the DC Essentials. This was figure number two, and this was Deathstroke, a really neat looking figure, just unfortunately plagued with loose ankles. 
If you guys haven't had a chance to do so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's just below this video. That will ensure you that when new videos are coming onto this channel, you'll, you'll never miss out. And speaking of new videos, we're going to have a look at some more DC Essentials figures in the coming video. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.